Thank you for joining us this Friday, the 2nd of August. I'm Sophia Mavridis, a market analyst with Bell Direct, and this is your weekly market update. Well, reporting season kicked off this week and is set to reveal a complex earnings landscape shaped by a confluence of economic headwinds. Uh, that's high interest rates, intensified competition, rising costs and uh, softening commodity prices, which have collectively dampened corporate profitability in FY24. While overall expectations for the ASX 200 are not overly negative for this reporting period, with a slight decline in earnings predicted, the broader financial outlook remains cautious. Now, the market's attention is increasingly shifting toward FY25, where earnings are projected to rebound. However, when we look at the earnings of smaller companies rather than just the biggest ones, we see a very different picture with a much stronger growth expected. Now, given the market's historical tendency to overestimate future earnings, this reporting season will be crucial in shaping expectations for FY25. Despite flat aggregate uh, earnings estimates over the last six months, the market has rallied, resulting in an elevated price-to-earnings ratio, suggesting greater investor optimism. Therefore, the market could react uh, strongly to companies that are reporting worse than expected, especially if these results cast doubt on the idea that the next financial year will be strong. Also, sector performance is expected to diverge significantly. Travel, insurance and healthcare are poised for growth, while resources are likely to face some challenges. So the ability to withstand economic pressures and maintain pricing power will be key determinants for success. Overall, this reporting season will highlight the challenges that companies are facing in today's economy. Investors should be focusing on the companies that demonstrate resilience and pricing power, especially within the sectors of healthcare and technology. Conversely, our domestic cyclicals, including banks and retailers, may face our increased headwinds. Now looking at the market's performance this week so far, our local market rallied this week. The ASX 200 advanced 2.44% Monday to Thursday with all sectors in the green. Technology and real estate are in the lead, gaining 4.82% and 4.62% respectively. Today, however, our local market is set for a sharp decline with the SPY futures suggesting a 1.78% decline this morning at the time of recording. Now, this follows data out in the US overnight, which pointed to slower growth and concerns that the Fed has uh, waited too long to start cutting interest rates. On the ASX 200 leaderboard, buy now, pay later company Zip advanced the most, up more than 13% this week so far, after the company posted its quarterly cash flow numbers on Tuesday. Zip is up 216% so far this year. Star Entertainment, Credit Corp Group and Life360 were also in the lead, while investors took profit from Ordinate Group, Fortescue and Artidium Lithium. Now, as for the most traded stocks by Bell Direct clients this week, these included Westpac, NAB, uh, Woodside Energy. Clients also bought into Fortescue and Mesoblast, while took profits from ANZ, Macquarie, Commonwealth Bank, Beach Energy and ResMed. And the most traded ETFs were the BetaShares Geared Australian Equity ETF, that's G-E-A-R, the iShares uh, S&P 500 ETF, IVV, and the BetaShares Australian High Interest Cash ETF, AAA. End-to-end -end economic data to watch out for next week. Well, on Monday, the uh, final services PMI will be out for July. That's the Purchasing Managers Index, which is an indicator of economic trends in the services sector. On Tuesday, the next RBA interest rate decision will be announced, expected to remain on hold at 4.35%, followed by business confidence out on Thursday. And that's all for today. I'm Sophia Mavridis with Bell Direct. I hope you have a great Friday and as always, happy investing.